We'll have more with the students that hit the slopes at the end of the show, but first, men's tennis. Yeah, the men's tennis team is led this season by senior Jake Jacoby. Jacoby is known for his consistent play and has added depth on the roster, but this year he has taken over the role as captain. With more is Will Silverstein. Senior Jake Jacoby is leading the Hawkeye men's tennis team into the Big Ten season. Jake Jacoby had a great weekend at the HTRC, winning all three of his matches against Arizona and IUPUI. The humble senior has enjoyed personal success over his first three years on the team, but also has learned from the youngest members on the squad. Everyone's learning from everyone. Um, I, I hope that I can be sort of a leader by example, but at the same time I'm learning from the freshmen. Um, if I'm not trying to learn as well, then it's, I'm really not serving my full purpose as a teammate or individually as a player. because. You're always trying to work on your own game, always trying to get better, and I'm always trying to be a better um, captain, leader, senior. Jacoby is keeping his personal goals close to the chest as he has prioritized his four-year-long team goal of making the NCAA tournament. And with this talented squad featuring five underclassmen, he believes there is no time like the present. For me, it's, it's the team goals, um, which is make the NCAA tournament. I think that's for sure. Our biggest goal. I, I know it's possible with this group. Um, it's the best group I've had since I've been here. Um, the deepest for sure. We can have guys injured or guys not playing well and we can come in and, and have someone replace them right away which um, in the past you know was maybe questionable if we had that or not. Jacoby and his teammates hope to get off to a fast pace in conference play. With four of their first five conference matches at home they hope to change the narrative that has been set the past few years. For DITV Sports this is Will Silverstein. take on Creighton and Denver this Friday at the Hawkeye Tennis and Recreation Center. On Saturday, the women's gymnastics team faced the 8th ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. The Iowa women's gymnastics team posted their record high attendance here in Carver Hawkeye Arena. 3,502 fans packed into Carver. Five Jim Hawks registered sevens and best and four earned career highs. Fight, you know, I, it was a hard day honestly um, and it's deflating when you start out lower than you expected. Melissa Zorowski finished in third on bars. The team together scored a total of 49.175. We've been trying to focus on one person at a time and getting that first person to hit and we accomplished our goal of that and we do have a lot to work on but it was a great movement forward for us. The Hawks scored the highest on the beam earning a 48.950. Both Nikki Yold and Rose Pulowski tied their season bests. Iowa finished out the afternoon on the floor with a score of 48.425. The ranked Corn Huskers came out on top. Their brains stay focused on the in the moment. I really think it's the first time that they knew that they could or could not win. And we don't pay attention to that stuff. The women gym hawks will be looking to improve their performance at their next meet. Reporting from Carver Hawker Arena, this has been Alexis Gore with DI TV Sports. The gym hawks will be back in action Friday, February 16th for their annual pink meet against Ball State. While the Winter Olympics are currently on the other side of the world in Pyeongchang, there is a Winter Olympic event that's going on right here on campus. Alec Giannakopoulos has more. When the snow hits Iowa City, it can make the Pentacrest look like a winter wonderland. However, there are a few students who have gotten together and made the Pentacrest look like their own wintry playground. Yeah. When campus received its first major snowfall this semester, a few students started talking about making a jump and found the perfect place to have it. So we were just thinking of places to make a jump. Where's the coolest place? that we could get some speed and make it look cool and we thought right on the Capitol would be pretty sweet so we did it as you can see. <laughs> as Justin and his friend went out to hit the man-made slope after school other students asked if they could get involved before they knew it they had an unofficial group in a matter of hours. Uh, one of my fraternity brothers Grant was like hey like you want to go to the Pentecost and I was like hey I'm actually here right now <laughs> so it just worked out super well and now the group is focusing on taking advantage of every snowy day as a chance to relax, grow as a group, and hit the jump at least one more time. What started off as a group of strangers who shared a love of snowboarding has turned into an unofficial group. 
but they assure me they are open for new membership. So if you find yourself interested in snowboarding on the Pentacrest, just head down on a snowy day and ask to join. From the Pentacrest, this is Alec Janikopoulos, Daily Island, TV Sports. Well, Lucy, I'm probably not quite as adventurous as those guys. Uh, usually on snow days, I like to curl up with a cup of hot chocolate and just watch some Christmas movies. Yeah, I like to spend my snow days wishing I was back home in warm and sunny North Carolina. <laughs> but uh, that's it from us in the sports studio. Tune in tomorrow for more from the men's tennis team. Guys, back to you.